Welcome to the unit Dying Machineries. In this unit, you will gain an understanding of basic machines and technology used in various dyeing process. By end of this unit, students will be able to list the dyeing machines used in dyeing process. Objectives of dyeing machines To provide maximum contact between the dye liquor and the fibers within reasonable amount of time without causing damage to the substrates. To increase the rate of production, to reduce the dyeing cost, to reduce labor cost, to reduce the consumption of water, steam and chemicals. First, we will discuss about coloration at fiber stage. Coloration at fiber stage is called stock dyeing. Stock dyeing is carried out at fiber stage. In this case, the fibers are loaded in dyeing machine as cake of fibers in loose form. Dye liquor is circulated thoroughly through the loose fibers, thus enabling better penetration of dye through the fibers. Important Futures It is an expensive method of dyeing. There is 10 to 15 percent wastage of fibers during yarn spinning process. It has excellent penetration of dye into fiber. There is a fashion risk. That means the final color of the fabric has to be desired earliest stage in the manufacture of the product. Reason for use, stock dyeing. It is mainly used to provide a heather like effect for woolen yarns, which is very commonly used for winter jackets or is used to produce melange yarns. Next, we will discuss about yarn dyeing. Yarn dyeing, it means dyeing of yarns before they have been woven or knitted into fabrics. Yarn may be dyed in different forms, skin dyeing, package dyeing and beam dyeing process. Important Futures of Yarn Dyeing Yarn dyeing is cheaper than stock dyeing process. It has excellent color penetration of the dye into fiber than piece dyeing process. Reason for use yarn dyeing. It is used to produce stripes, plates and checks as well as other multicolored designs for fabric development. First, we will discuss about skin dyeing process. Loosely wound hangs known as skins are hanged in a manner that they are immersed into the dye bath to carry out the process of dyeing. This process is usually to dye yarns which requires full bulk. Such yarns are commonly used to prepare knits or carpets. Cotton, woolen, silk and bulk acrylic are the common yarn types used in skin dyeing process. Next, we will discuss about package dyeing. In this method, yarns are dyed in package form. The yarns are rewound from paper cups or bobbin onto plastic or metallic cups or bobbin which has perforations. These yarn packages are mounted on perforated rods and then loaded into dyeing machineries. After loading, the carrier is dropped into a seating in the dyeing tank through which the dye liquor is circulated thoroughly. Here, yarn package is stationary and dye liquor is circulated through the package. Important Futures of Package Dyeing the yarn package prepared are soft wound with low winding tension to ensure uniform dyeing. Yarns used for such dyeing are imported low twist for better dye penetration. These dyed yarns can be used to prepare both woven and knitted fabrics. High pressure dyeing can be carried out by this method. Dyeing can be performed in larger scale. Package dyeing imports uniform dyeing. Next, we will discuss about beam dyeing. Beam dyeing is a larger version of package dyeing. Yarn or full width of woven or knitted fabric is wound onto the perforated cylindrical beams, then enclosed in a huge enclosed chamber. Here, the dye liquor is circulated under pressure through perforations similar to package dyeing. Warp yarns are dyed in a solid color prior to weaving or warp knitting. 
It provides for good color absorption and better color fastness than piece dyed methods. Next, we will discuss about piece dyeing. Piece dyeing is carried out at the fabric stage, generally to produce single solid color in the fabric. Here, first let us discuss about winch dyeing or beck dyeing. The winch machine is a conventional dyeing machine. It consists of a tub containing the dye liquor and an elliptical winch that is located horizontally above the dye bath. The ends of the fabric are stitched together to convert into a continuous rope form which is passed through the dye bath and submerged repeatedly. The fabric is held in a slack or loose condition during dyeing process. Dyeing is carried out at higher liquor ratios about 1 is to 20 up to 1 is to, 1 is to 50. Important Futures Winch dyeing or beg dyeing for example, reactive dyes are not advisable. Winch dyeing is mainly used for knitted fabrics and lightweight fabrics. Filament yarn fabric that tend to break should not be used. It is difficult to maintain uniform temperature throughout the dye bath. Fabric tend to crease a lot. Now, let us move on to learn about the jigger dyeing machines and jet dyeing machines used to, to dye at fabric stage. Jigger dyeing machine. Fabric is dyed in its open or full width form. The machine consists of a small tub and two drawing rollers located above the dye bath. Initially, the fabric is wound around one of the rollers known as let off rollers. During the process of dyeing, the fabric is passed through the dye bath and rewound onto the second roller known as take up roller. When all fabric is passed through the dye bath, the direction of movement is reversed. This would be repeated for number of cycles until the dyeing is completed. In this machine, dyeing tension is imported across the length of the fabric during the process of dyeing. This machine is suitable for delicate fabrics and lightweight fabrics. Dyeing is carried out at low liquor ratios 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 6. The consumption of chemicals and energy is lower than winch dyeing machines. The new jiggers are equipped with devices that allow a reduction in tension applied in lengthwise direction. Knitted and stretch woven fabrics which tend to stretch under tension cannot be dyed in this machine. There is the possibility of shade variation center to selvage. Jet dyeing machine or otherwise you call it as high temperature high pressure dyeing machine. Jet dyeing machine provides very efficient contact between the dye liquor and fabric. Both the fabric and liquor are in constant motion during the process of dyeing. This results an improved level of dyeing with shorter dyeing time. The fabric is circulated through the dye bath in a rope form. The movement of the fabric occurs by circulating the dye liquor through a venturi jet. Venturi jet develops high pressure which further facilitates uniform movement of material and liquor. Jet dyeing machines are pressurized and dyeing can be carried out at high temperature ranging 135 to 150 degree centigrade. Jet dyeing machines requires low liquor ratios between 10 is to 1 and 5 is to 1 or even lower. Advantages of jet dyeing machines. The jet dyeing machine requires less water, chemicals and energy. It has a shorter dyeing time. It is efficient and enables high pro higher production. It can be used to dye delicate woven fabrics or knits or texturized and lightweight fabrics. Now, we will discuss about garment dyeing. Garment dyeing refers the dyeing of completed garments. This process can only be used for garments under non-tailored categories such as sweaters, sweatshirts, 
hosiris and pantyhose. Tailored items like suits or dresses cannot be dyed through this method. Here there is a one important consideration. The difference in shrinkage percentage of the various components in your garment may distort and misshape the article. Garment dyeing is done by placing suitable number of garments, usually 24 sweaters or equivalent into large nylon net bag. Such loosely packed 10 to 50 bags are then placed in large dye bath and kept and agitated by a motor driven paddle. This machine is called paddle dyer. Important features of garment dyeing. There is a less fashion risk as the material need not to be dyed until shortly before the actual sale of the merchandise. Based on the buyer's order, a manufacturer can offer wide varieties of colors. It provides quick response and allows for rapid delivery for small orders. All the fabric used in one garment must come from the same lot of fabric. Fabric must be tested for shrinkage before cutting the garments and must be given required tolerance to allow for shrinkage so that the size of the product will be accurate. Threads must be selected carefully and tested to ensure that it will accept the dye in the same way as the fabric. Labels, buttons and zippers must be compatible with the garment fabric in terms of reaction to dye and shrinkage. Now we will discuss about cross dyeing. The cross dyeing, this concept is mainly for blended fabric. In cross dyeing technique, yarn, fabric or even garment made with two or more generic fiber types having different dyeing qualities is dyed in a single dye bath containing two different classes of dyes. Uh, let me explain what is a heather like effect. In this case, the fibers are colored in different colors. The different colored fibers are processed into yarn during its spinning process. That yarn has the different colored fibers which are randomly oriented. When you convert this yarn into fabric, the resultant fabric has randomly distribu distributed colors on its surface. This is what you call it as a heather like effect. This is one fashion effect which normally used for winter jackets, something the fabric which is used for melton. Different fiber content yarns used in a fabric con construction can obtain plates, stripes and checks. Union dyeing. This is also another concept, coloration of blended fabrics. It is used to achieve single solid color in blended fabrics. In the union dyeing technique, a fabric composed of cotton and polyester can be dyed in a solid color of green by using direct dye for the cotton and dispersed dye for the polyester same color. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit you have learnt about stock dyeing, various types of yarn dyeing such as skin dyeing, package dyeing beam dyeing, various types of piece dyeing such as winch or peg dyeing process. You have also learnt about jigger dyeing and jet dyeing machines used to dye fabrics as well as garment dyeing. Thank you very much.